there, Aquarius, it's your friend Dharma Jane, here to do your monthly spread for September 2018. All the information about me, and if you want to get in a private reading, is in the description box below. So, without further ado, this is Palo Santo burning up the holy tree there. Super cleansing, smells very good. I keep hearing the name Kate, specifically Kate. Um, that's all about. Okay, so there we pass present and future energies down here. Let's see what we've got. Okay. So in the recent past, right here is a very clear decision of not wanting to be alone. And actually that's what would make you the most, make Aquarius the most happy. Because this is the hermit, right? And the hermit talks about going within. And it's kind of like the going within and being alone and thinking about all that did happen. But in reverse, what would be the wish of Aquarius is to be in a partnership. But they don't want to feel trapped in that partnership. Because, I mean, this is the foundation of the recent past. But right in the center, you do have the four wands. This is the foundation. This is the um, happy home. It's very stable. Um, it's but with with this decision brings celebration. And everybody's happy, and there isn't really any juggling anymore about what to do. I think this card is a reiteration of these cards in the base, and that being together, it was like already decided that being together really would be the best thing. What's with this uh, four of fire? What is this here? See, because this family, this unit, this whatever this thing is that comes out of the, the foundation here, this four of fire, it gives you strength, it gives someone strength. But because of some kind of betrayal or some kind of somebody like got away with something and it may have led to, well, the whole reason that you had to go all hermit in the first place, which, you know, sometimes we have to go through lessons, see, and then you decide that you don't want to go, right? Because upright would indicate moving on and this would indicate, but sometimes it's good to have those kind of lessons to where when you're away, you know, without a doubt that you're doing the right thing by staying. Yeah. And there it is. There's your queen. This is, this is like, it's almost like a realization of a cup. Because right now when you're present, yeah. Woo wee, we've got Aquarius right here, healing. Right, because you have the three of air in reverse and the three of swords does talk about heartbreak, but I always see that card in reverse as like that already happened and or like it was averted because either this is someone that's healing or someone who feels whole or like the swords have been pulled out because look here, you've got the sun and right here again, you've got the queen of water, but here's the high priestess. There's probably still some kind of secret somewhere. Um, but we're, I'm going to get some clarity on this, but I'm guessing with this high priestess being there, I mean, look at her face. It's one of those, I heard what goes around. Ooh. So we'll see. So this doesn't have to be Aquarius. We'll see, you know, what goes around, comes around with what I heard. So, but we do have healing here. First, let's take a look at the base. Yeah. The, the, the decision to stay. Okay. So to stay in a relationship would be to not leave, to not have the death card, right? It did end disappointment. It's kind of like, you know, the five of cups talks about it's the guy and he's got three of his cups knocked over. I always see is like not leaving a relationship as just like picking those cups back up and like filling them back up. But what is it that you're filling it back up with, right? 
but in the base of your right now time, it would seem that by doing this is, you know, good for you. So, and here again, I'm seeing the high priestess. So I think that card wants to speak. Why is the high priestess here? I feel like it's a warning. So, okay, it might be about money. What is this? See, and it goes back to talking about the juggling again. And I always see the two of pentacles as like, if, okay, so this queen of pentacles has one pentacle. <coughs> Excuse me. She, there's not a, a doubt in her mind that she's going to drop that thing because she's very stern, uh, firm and sturdy, right? As pentacles are, earth people are. But this is. There it is again. There's a chance that, and, and, and look at how rocky the seas are behind the notion of carrying these two burdens. And I don't know why I said burdens, but I think the reason that the high priestess is out, and I just noticed on the bottom of the deck, is the moon in reverse, which is, I mean, that's more secret. So there's probably something going on. So, okay. So we're talking about, yeah, this person gives you strength and here's your queen of cups. You know, maybe the queen of pentacles came out because there's a, a separate queen and I'm talking to males or the masculine. Um, but the queen can be, it could be two men, just whatever. But here we are with a match in person, the queen and the queen of cups. But then this one is extra. And I, I said, I feel like this is a warning. This is a warning. I don't know what that's all about. I think, but this is a loss of, I don't know why I want to talk about a loss of independence. I think there is an Aquarian here who like did the hermit thing because they wanted freedom really bad, but then realized that this was kind of like their spot, you know, like the thing that feels like home. But then there's this like thing lurking in the background about possibly losing like independence. Why is the three of air here? So there, that's Libra. So far I see Leo, Libra and Leo and Virgo. Oh geez. So, okay. We are experiencing the end of some kind of heartbreak because I mean there it is twice but it's it's a burden oh there's the four of swords twice who's this queen of water please yeah so there so okay whatever this was back here with this like leaving and then deciding it wasn't the right thing i think it's still present in the form of multiple people and that whatever that was is going to come back and like that isn't over because there's the emperor and there's strength again and the five of fire So, and right here's the competition. Um, but for whatever reason, I can't for say for sure that this is giving strength. This competition. Or there, but look, right here. This is the world. Okay? So whatever this is, because I feel like I'm like, I can't even, like, I don't even want to talk about it. It's like devastating to me. And it's probably true because, you know, you're not the first sign this month in September who is dealing with double heartbreak right here. So I don't know if you're dealing with a Leo and there's Leo twice, but there's a lot of heartbreak going on. Um, but it ends with the end of a cycle. I mean, this is the last car. <coughs> this would be the farthest into your possible future because 
because whatever, I feel like whatever it is, I feel like there's worry. Like if somebody finds out, this is all done. Um, but I'm talking about the end of worry and there it is, the happy home. And just putting in the effort and like forgetting about the, the air sign and sparking new passion with where you are and becoming, you know, sturdy. Because this is what gives you strength. Whoa, oh my goodness gracious. Home is what gives you strength, for sure. Just, and it's like, it's like the desperate need on every level to reignite that, to re-spark that. Okay, that is all I have for you for this month, Aquarius. Uh, please do like, subscribe, and share, and I will see you in a couple weeks. Have a good one. Thank you.